about 1.30. I already traveled about an hour and a half. All right, it's rough out there. It is, let's see what time it is in the morning. Right now it's 5.30. It's really dark out there. Take another look, see what it looks like. Nothing on the way. So right now, I'm going about 10 miles per hour. And um, I'm burning about 3.8 miles to the gallon, which is really good. So 10 miles per hour is going to go real slow. So once the sun comes up, if it comes down, because right now there's three foot um, to five foot seas at eight seconds apart. So yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a rough one to get there. But I got time. I left early, so 5:30 in the morning. I'm already about a mile out. Perfect. Just the light open. And I got the uh, air conditioner running. That's why you can hardly hear the engine. I slept last night about an hour. Couldn't go to sleep. So, one hour, that's all I got. All right, the current speed, right now it's still 10 miles per hour. Averaging 4.0 right now. 4.0, four miles to the gallon. Starting to get hungry soon when I eat breakfast. So at this speed, if I hit anything, it shouldn't do any damage to the boat. About 10 miles per hour. The, uh, the forecast was right. Four foot seas. Now, I don't know about eight seconds apart. Maybe eight seconds apart when I get to the deep ocean. Right now it feels like almost four foot seas, but at two seconds apart. It's not no eight seconds. So I think eight seconds will be to the deeper ocean. The only things I see out there right now is uh, one cruise line and uh, a freighter. That's it. Nothing else out here. I don't think anybody's stupid enough to go out in these conditions. But this is the best time that I've found. And as you see, it's not the best. But this is the best, really. Today, um, it gets better. The next day it gets better. I couldn't wait one day uh, to get to Bimini because if I waited one day, um, I will only be out here for two days. That's why I left today early to make it three to four days. All right, it's time to eat breakfast. then I'm gonna go faster even though the ocean is not proper for going faster all right now I can go a little faster I can see a little bit out there and I can go about 20 miles per hour. Yep, the sun's coming out, so I'll be able to see a little bit better.
when I'm about to go over the swell, then you can hear the engine stringing a lot. generator is not getting wet at all because the pilot house is protecting from the splashing uh, to the generator look at that Woo! huge waves and um, the generator doesn't get wet that's awesome if you remember I used to have the generator at the gunnel right there and you can see all the water hitting the gunnel right there and now by placing it here, it's perfect. So now, if I have the generator there, I can run it all of the time. And right now I'm running the air conditioning. Sure, now I don't know what's the temperature of the water out here, I didn't check that. So if I'm gonna go in the water to go uh, lobster spear fishing, and if I notice that the water is too cold, I'm gonna have to put the wetsuit on. diving and the heat is picking up the sun is getting upset early in the morning here let's see if my anchorage is clear of boats
morning. Can I pass by? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. I got 12 gallons of fuel. That's all I'm gonna need. Um, I only burn um, only burn 27 gallons coming here, all the way from uh, customs to here. So a total of 27. Uh, added 12 gallons to that. That means I only have minus 15 gallons out of my 90. So I can move around freely fish and uh, those 12 extra gallons are going to do pretty good they're going to uh, get me around without uh, worries that I'm going to run out of fuel whenever the autopilot is really slow it'll make a noise it'll make that noise you hear because it's trying to move the motor back and forth and there's no speed so once you gain speed, that sound goes away. It's a little shock. 
choppy because there's uh, about 13 to 14 miles per hour winds right now but in the following days it's supposed to get better so now instead of fishing I'm gonna try to get some lobsters because that's what I really want to do almost arriving to my lobster destination it's a very shallow area all right that's where I'm gonna be getting my lobsters it's very shallow there too Now that I got a couple of lobsters, I'm gonna head to uh, Honeymoon Harbor now. All right, that was cash of the day. Three nice lobsters. That's gonna be for dinner.
now that I already have dinner, I had my earlier three lobsters. Um, came here, swimmed a little bit also. Very nice here. There's some people there on their big boats, relaxing there. But the wind is gonna come from that side. I don't wanna be here. I wanna be where the sailboats are. So I'm gonna head over there and get close to the rocks, away from the sailboats. So that way I can have a, a good night's sleep tonight, which I need it, because I haven't uh, slept that much at all, maybe one hour. Get a good spot before more people start coming. All right, I'm gonna pick up anchor and I'm gonna head over there. All right, I'm using the Minkota to get out of the shallow waters because here is 3.5 feet here. I haven't been back here for a long time. Yeah, a little bit more away from these boats. We great. Alright, now that I'm not piloting the boat, guess it. Now it's island time. Look how beautiful it looks. Looks incredible. All right, so right now I'm gonna set my shower curtain. I'll show you how I set it up. Alright, so the shower curtain is already set up and also it's going to help with the sun hitting from that side so I get some nice shade out of it. For a very small boat, 21 feet, cricket pilot house, having a shower curtain outdoors and letting it dry out there with the sun is perfect. I don't have a shower indoors but I definitely do have an outdoor shower. So right now the air is about 75 degrees. Right now, since I took a shower, I feel clean. Uh, once you have that salt water on you, you need to take a fresh water shower. All right, so today's meal is gonna be an awesome meal. As you saw, I got a little bit of wine here for the lobsters. I'm gonna make lobster pasta, garlic, butter. I don't have white wine, but I have red wine. I'm gonna use a little bit, and we're gonna make an awesome pasta. Look at this, they're so big, they do not fit on the plate. That's gonna be tonight's dinner. So I'm gonna go outside, and I'm gonna discard the heads, crack them open. Thank 
All right, I got the three lobster tails here. There we go. It's the last vein. Look at those three beautiful lobsters. My wife made already the pasta, so all I have to do is put garlic, butter, and wine. All right, this is the garlic. All I have to do is cut it real thin. See that thin? All right, I'm gonna put some uh, butter in here. And now I'm going to put all the garlic in. It smells really good. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in there too. Now that it's somewhat hot, I'm going to put it at 300 degrees. Put those lobsters in there. Look at that beautiful. Now I'm gonna put the lid on so that way it gets good temperature in there. Alright, while that is cooking, I'm gonna open up a bottle of wine. I'm gonna put a little bit of wine once the pasta. It's warm, I'm just gonna put a little bit of wine there. All right. A mega pint, smells really good. All right, that lobster is already getting color. It's getting red. And here is where I have the pasta that my wife made. Is the pasta ready? She put some seasoning on it but no garlic i'm just gonna flip them now look how beautiful they look falling off oh they're already full cooked they're already cooked wow they're falling off All right, all I gotta do now is just take them out of the uh, shell. And I'm gonna cut it in little pieces. Look at that. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna cut it in small pieces so that way it's in the pasta. Look at that, beautiful. boat is rocking see this movement is going to happen all night when there's big boats passing by they're going to create this little movement this is all the lobster it's plenty and i'm going to turn this on at 260 degrees a little bit of butter I don't have white wine, so it's gonna be a little bit of red wine. Just a little. There we go. Smells really good. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I'm gonna add some of the pasta. Now I'm gonna cover it, let it get hot, and then I'm gonna add some 
lobster to it. Now, I'm not gonna add all of it, but I'm gonna add some of it. Now I'm gonna add some lobster to it. Yeah. Beautiful. Got my wine here. Look at this, how this looks. Beautiful. Look at that little toasty on the bottom. Look how it looks. Lobster pasta. Beautiful. This would be an awesome meal for today. Um, I was expecting to eat lobster. You always say you're going to come and catch lobsters, but sometimes you come and there's no lobsters. All right, let's try this. The only thing is missing, just a little bit of salt. Incredible. Tastes really good. Everybody's by now probably eating dinner. I got two cameraman, three, four, a couple of sailboats. That was an awesome meal. Now I gotta clean all these dishes up and get it ready for uh, tomorrow's breakfast. night has fallen it was a beautiful sunset I just finished doing the dishes beautiful day the crossing was not the best but no rain no uh, thunderstorms things like that you get here seven sailboats in this area I've never seen so many sailboats on this side. Got my anchor alarm. I'm about 
350 feet away from shore. Well, right here is where the rocks are. So 322 feet uh, right where the rocks. So I got about 100 radius here for my uh, anchor drag alarm. It's been a little while. I've been looking forward to uh, spend some time on the boat. There's a cruise ship way over there. Heading back to the U.S. It's very windy. Right now you can feel uh, about 15 miles per hour winds. So it's pretty windy. Well, tomorrow it's going to be a all day fishing. Today was lobstering and resting. Tomorrow's going to be all day fishing. Uh, I have no fish in the cooler. I didn't use the wetsuit today. The water was cold, but not that cold. I mean, I dove in and I was not shivering. It was perfect. Don't get me wrong, it was a little cold, but not like Florida. Florida is super cold. You can just make them float like this. Make a meringue float. See what I'm saying? Just pick it up and eat it. Spines you see on this thing are actually hollow and you can inject your venom. It's a... Alright guys, I'm going to get some rest now and I'll continue this trip for the next video. And if you did like it, please don't forget to thumb it up. And if you like, you can also subscribe to this channel for more videos. Navigate safe.